Hello, and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, the question we are answering is what's in the box? So what I need to do is I have a copy here of Animal Empire Conquer or Be Conquered from Half Monster Games. I'm going to crack this baby open. We're going to tip the camera down so you can see it a little better. We're going to take a look at what's in this box. I have yet to see what's in this myself, so you get to share my experiences seeing this for the first time. I am recording this here live on Twitch right now. Um, so for those of you in the chat room, thank you for joining me. For those of you watching on YouTube, uh, what would be awesome is hit the subscribe button and even better, ding that bell. That way you get notified anytime we put up a new video. So again, I am the Tabletop Bellhop. You can find my content at tabletopbellhop.com. Everything's over there. For now though, we're going to dive right into Animal Empire. I'm going to start by cracking the shrink on this. So one of the things that looks unique is the box style is not a standard card box. So that'll be interesting to see once I get the shrink off. All right, so now we get to do the roller coaster ride. Oh, I didn't put the modem back. So here we have Animal Empire. So this box, I'm trying to figure out how this one particularly opens. All right, so like this way. So we open up like this. Oh, I gotta say, that's a nice piece of dragon art right there. It's a nice touch. We have the rule book. And we have some cards. Hey, camera. There we go. And we have some cards. None of these are in um, cellophane or anything, so that's interesting. So we'll flip through the rule book first. A little digest sized. Starts off with a how to play. How to set it up. I see four players here. So this is a four player competitive card game. Lots of text. See some iconography here. Rules are nice and um, clear. Text is a nice good size. Shows the different empires. And this was a Kickstarter, so you have your usual thanks to Kickstarter backers in here, as well as their patrons, because uh, Half Monster Games does have a Patreon account where they went through how they built this game. The rule book is a total of uh, 14 pages, 12 of which are actual rules. Uh, no, technically that's a go check out our webpage. So 11 pages, 11 pages of actual rules. Then we get on to some horizontal cards, kingdom cards. I'm impressed by the artwork so far. We have, let's split these out as best I can. So we have some kingdom cards here. Definitely impressive artwork. artwork. I'm not going to go through all of these. I'll just show you, show off some of them. The Abyssal Axionate. All right, the next one I'm going to read off just so we can see what information is on here. The Avian State. So it says they are fleet. Bastions of peace during the war is now strong. Mountaintop democracies. So we have the Avians. And then the other side of these is really boring. So I hadn't really shown that off yet, but there's the back of the Empire cards. So you get a significant stack of these. Then what do we have? We have... Leonian Vanguard looks like a bunch of different units with a different type of back here. Again, the art's really cool, though I gotta say that looks a little off-centered. The text in particular seems to be a bit more to the one side than the other. I don't know if that's a printing error or intentional. Again, dig the artwork here. Some fox people. We got some golems. That's not very animal looking. The Aquatin Brigade. Not a lot of information on these cards. Like all there is is the name of the unit and a symbol at the top. Just flipping through so some interesting looking ones, some lizard men. 
And then the rest of the cards the same? No. Okay, so we have other card types here. So more units. The cavalry uh, aren't actually mounted on anything, but they're horses. The draconian elder. Oh, I like the wolves. The wolves are really neat looking. They kind of Roman look to them. All right, so that's all your unit cards. We got here. We have the uh, terrain cards. And what do we have here? Awaken the Titan. Now that is a mean looking. That looks a little bigger than a Terrasque. Huge ass beast. It says, use to deploy a massive creature that can act like an army under your control until it's destroyed. Cannot capture kingdoms or wilderness. Upon being destroyed, it returns to the wilderness deck. So this must be the wilderness deck. Again, the artwork is really nice on these cards. Card quality is a little thinner than I would have liked, and they are slightly warped. You kind of see that there. It's not terrible. Nothing a little riffle shuffle backwards wouldn't help. Again, very interesting art style to go with the uh, other ones. So we have a whole bunch of these wilderness cards. Again, I was surprised by all the fantasy elements when it said animal empire. Like, obviously, animal troops would be fantasy. But I wasn't expecting like dragons and demons and angels as well. Finally, we just have cards in the player colors. Whole palette of colors here with Empire cards on the back. And that's it. That's what you get in the box. I gotta say, I really dig this presentation. This is nice. Card art's fantastic. Not a lot of rules here. Almost nothing on the actual cards. The Wilderness are the only ones that actually have any text on them. All the unit cards, different types obviously with the different symbols at the top, probably defensive units, I don't know, uh, flaming village, raving units, flying units, and so on. And then a whole bunch of landscapes. More than there are different armies in the game, so I don't know. Again, I have not played this game. Rule book, and I gotta say I dig this, I like that. That is a really nice style of box for a card game. That's it. Roller coaster again, I apologize. So, there you have what you get in a box for Animal Empire. This is from Half Monster Games. It was funded on Kickstarter. This is, uh, as far as I know, a retail edition. I don't think this is like a special Kickstarter edition. It does say, Conquer your friends and conquer the world as animal monarchs in a future dark age where humans are extinct. Future and fantasy there. Battle for domination of the 16 kingdoms. Each you capture gives you a corresponding special army of powerful warmer, warriors. Balancing your army might and deducing the intentions of your foes is your key to victory. Seize the crowns of your friends to make them vassals, pawns of your growing empire. So it sounds like there might be a bit of social deduction. It also sounds like there might be some um, player elimination, but we'll see. So again, that is Animal Empire from Half Monster Games. Really dig the box. This is one of the nicest card boxes I've seen for a card game. That is, that is that's quality. I, I dig that. Plus, it's going to look good on my shelf. It's going to fit good. You can stand it up like a novel. I dig that. Artwork in here is fantastic. Now, just have to find out how the game plays. For that, you'll have to watch the Tabletop Bellhop blog at tabletopbellhop.com, where I will eventually get to reviewing this game. For the Tabletop Bellhop, I am Mo Tuzano. Good night and game on.